Welcome back to Pennywise Perspectives, your go-to channel for everything personal finance. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that's often overlooked, the most outdated money rules. Like many aspects of life, money rules evolve over time. What was considered sound financial advice decades ago may not hold true in today's rapidly changing world. As societies, economies, and technologies progress, it's crucial to reassess and adapt our financial strategies. In this video, we'll explore some of the most outdated money rules that no longer serve us well and discuss modern approaches to managing our finances effectively. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. The content provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now, let's dive into today's topic. 1. Buy a home as soon as possible. Traditionally, owning a home was seen as a symbol of financial success and stability. However, this doesn't always align with today's dynamic job market and lifestyle preferences. While owning property can be a wise investment, it's essential to weigh the costs, including property taxes, maintenance, and the potential loss of flexibility that comes with home ownership. In some cases, renting or investing in other assets might be more advantageous. 2. Always avoid debt at all costs. The idea of living debt-free remains a valid goal. However, not all debt is created equal. Mortgage debt, for instance, can help individuals build equity and wealth over time. Similarly, taking on student loans for a high-paying career can be a strategic investment. The key is to understand the types of debt, their terms, and how they fit into your overall financial plan. 3. Save a fixed percentage of your income. The save 10% of your income rule, while well-intentioned, doesn't account for individual financial circumstances and goals. Savings should be tailored to your specific needs, including short-term goals, emergency fund, travel, etc. And long-term objectives, retirement, investments, etc. It's more beneficial to focus on creating a budget that aligns with your financial goals rather than adhering to a one-size-fits-all savings percentage. 4. Only rely on a single source of income. The notion of job security in a single company or profession has waned in recent years. Relying solely on a 9-to-5 job is risky in an age of economic uncertainty. The gig economy, freelance work, and side hustles provide opportunities to diversify your income streams. Embracing the idea of multiple income sources can enhance financial stability and flexibility. Real quick, fam, have you seen these awesome t-shirts? Make sure to check out my Etsy shop link down below in the description and rock these funny tees like a boss. Also, make sure to stay until the end of the video because we have a book recommendation that you won't want to miss. Now let's get back to the video. 5. Invest conservatively to avoid risk. Historically, conservative investments like bonds and savings accounts provided steady, albeit modest, returns. However, the landscape has changed. With today's low interest rates, inflation, and increased life expectancy, conservative investments may not yield the growth required to meet long-term financial goals. Balancing risk in your investment portfolio by including stocks or real estate is often necessary to outpace inflation. 6. Retire at 65 and you're set. The concept of retiring at a fixed age, typically 65, is becoming less realistic. With increased life expectancy, many individuals desire to work longer or transition into part-time roles rather than retiring outright. Moreover, the traditional pension system has dwindled making personal retirement savings crucial. Financial planning should focus on achieving financial independence rather than hitting a specific retirement age. 7. Don't discuss money openly. In the past, discussing personal finances was often considered taboo, leading to a lack of financial education and an aura of secrecy around money matters. However, times are changing, and there's a growing realization that transparency and open conversations about money are essential for building financial literacy and breaking down financial stigmas. When individuals share their knowledge and experiences, it can lead to better financial decisions and empower others to take control of their financial futures. Open discussions about budgeting, investing, and financial goals can help people learn from one another, seek advice, and collectively work towards financial well-being. Eight. Credit cards are always bad. While it's true that credit card misuse can lead to financial troubles, it's important to recognize that not all credit card use is detrimental. Credit cards offer several benefits, 
such as cashback rewards, consumer protection, and the opportunity to build a strong credit history. The key lies in responsible credit card use. When used wisely, credit cards can be valuable financial tools. Responsible use includes paying off balances in full and on time to avoid high interest debt. In fact, some individuals leverage credit card rewards to their advantage, earning cash back or travel points that can help offset expenses or provide additional financial flexibility. The important message here is not to demonize credit cards, but rather to emphasize the significance of using them responsibly and understanding their terms and conditions to make informed financial decisions. Book Recommendation Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki In Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki challenges conventional financial wisdom by sharing the contrasting financial philosophies of his rich dad, a mentor and entrepreneur, and his poor dad, his biological father, and a well-educated but financially struggling individual. This book delves into fundamental financial concepts, such as assets, liabilities, and passive income, in an easily understandable way. It encourages readers to rethink their approach to money, wealth, and financial independence. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is an excellent choice for those looking to break free from outdated money rules and gain a fresh perspective on building wealth and achieving financial success. It aligns perfectly with the theme of questioning and updating old financial paradigms discussed in this video. Please comment below any money-related topics you'd like for me to cover in a future video. If you love today's valuable video, consider smashing that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share it with a friend. Together, let's embrace abundance, develop financial intelligence, and make our dreams of financial freedom a reality. Bam! Have you seen these awesome t-shirts? Make sure to check out my Etsy shop by using the link in the description below and rock these funny tees like a boss. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.